Good afternoon, Tigers, and welcome to Tiger Vision News for Friday, April 20th. I'm Addie, and this is my co-host, Peyton. Thanks for joining us today. The theater kids are going to have some special shows coming up. They have their spring plays, and everyone involved has put in a lot of time into it. Summer Hewitt. Cooper. What part do you have in the upcoming plays? Uh, I have two parts, and one of them is a major part. I play a narrator. What do you most like about acting? Uh, just hanging out with my friends. Thank you. Hi, I'm Selma here with Carter. Tell us about your upcoming plays. Well, they're student-directed plays, and I don't know when they're when they are. When and where will they take place? I know they're here, but I don't know when. How much is the admission? I think like five dollars. Thank you. Tell us about your upcoming plays. What? Now let's check in with Miss Dixon and see what they're up to. Hi, I'm Cooper here with Mrs. Dixon. <laughs> Tell us about what your students are doing in class. Well, we just finished up The Giver, and um, it's a dystopian society, so now they are creating their own utopian societies. And what do you hope your students learn from this? Well, um, first of all, how hard it is for authors to create worlds and things like that, and um, also that there is no such thing as a utopian society. And what is the next big assignment for your students? We're going to be doing poetry books. Do you remember the poetry books? Matthew remembers the poetry books. They have to write 13 poems and they have to do it online and create a book and it's really fun. Thank you. Hi, I'm Cooper here with Dylan, Jaden, Tate. And what book are you reading in Miss Dixon's class? Um, The Giver. The Giver. And what do you like most about the project? Um, talking with my group mates, uh, asking questions, and the book is pretty good. Thank you. There is an NJHS meeting this week. It's Thursday at 7.15 in the NJHS room. All members must attend. Make sure you're there. Don't be late. The NJHS introduction is Thursday night at 6. 7th graders will be invited to become a part of this group, and you need to show up your best dressed. Members of the choir are going on a trip this weekend. They have a special performance and get to have some fun while they're out of town. The next round of star testing is coming up pretty soon. May 14th is the 6th and 7th grade math test. May 15th is the 6th and 7th grade reading test. And May 16th is the 8th grade science test. And May 17th is the 8th grade social studies test. Get ready for another week of Starfield fun. Now let's check in with Kyra for our forecast. Good afternoon, Tigers. I'm Kyra Weather. Today's current conditions are partly cloudy, 65 degrees, winds southeast, 11 miles per hour, precipitation 0%. Here's a look at tonight's regional forecast. There's nothing in our area. Here's a look at your five day forecast. Night changes the next five days and the chance of rain tomorrow on Wednesday. I'm Kyra Weather. Now back to you. Thanks, Kyra. Now let's check in with sports. Hi, my sports fans. I'm Matthew, and this is Luke, and here's a look at today's sports. Physicals are tomorrow. Let's check it out. I'm Connor here with Coach Sanchez. When and where will the physicals be held? Uh, this year they're all going to be here at FMS for all of our uh, boys and girls athletes. They'll be on Tuesday, April 24th from uh, 12 to 4. Which students will be required to take the physical? Every student that wants to be an athlete, you know, it doesn't matter what sports you play, football, volleyball, you know, track, basketball, golf, whatever, you got to have a physical by a doctor. What do students need to be prepared for their physical? Uh, to be prepared, you know, they need to have all the uh, paperwork filled out. You know, if they're going to get it here, then you probably need to get the money up here, the $20 that it, I believe it costs to get it. And they need to go online to Arbiter Sports and get their accounts with their parents set up and done as well. Why are physicals required for students? Well, number one, it's a safety thing. You know, we want to make sure that you're all taken care of so that you can perform at a high level. You know, people like you, I guess. And, you know, uh, it's just a safety thing. We want to make sure they're good to go when they go play and we don't have any issues once the season starts. Thank you. So we're ready to play some Tiger Sports next year. That's all we have for sports. Back to you. That's all we have today. Thanks for watching Tiger Vision News. Everyone have a great afternoon. Until then, Tigers. Bye.